We are currently at the pinnacle of watchmaking. <laughs> the top tier of the Holy Trinity, as some would say, Patek Philippe, okay? So we've just gone hands-on with a bunch of their new novelties, but there was a collection, or let's say two collections, that really stood out to us. So I think perhaps we should go a little head-to-head. -head, yeah. Okay? So you have a duo, I have a duo. They're all made of white gold, but why don't you tell me about your duo first? So my duo has to start with the new charcoal dials. Okay. Um, 5326 and 5226G. Um, you have the annual calendar, travel time. I mean, the charcoal dial is just, it's an amazing look, but then when you couple that with that sandy tone that they're using for the numerals and for the strap, yeah. it gives us a real nice sporty vibe. Easily one of the best precious metal, because it is white gold, precious metal sporty watches I've seen so far. It's gonna be real hard for someone to kind of knock those two out of the top spot. I have to give it to you, like it, it, they, they really are a strong duo. And at the end of the day, look, the Nautilus is gone. At this point, really the, the sport watch uh, within their catalog, at least in a time only fashion, because I know they're still complicated Nautiluses, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. is the Aquanaut. Yeah. And the Calatrava has been known to be like a very formal, you know, suit and tie kind of line. Yeah. But it seems like with these, especially with these charcoal dials, they are going a little more youthful. Yeah. They're, 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 they're a little more, uh, not vibrant, but they'll speak to a, a younger generation who wants to get in on Patek Philippe, but is willing to go at least in a little more classic of a case form. Yeah. But speaking of classic, I'm gonna rein it into my duo because let's go real classic, okay? Um, I think everybody knows I love a, a good slam and salmon dial. Who and doesn't? We, yeah, yeah. And so we have two, as they refer to it, rose opaline dials. Um, Two references, white gold cases. One, a bi-compax chronograph. The second, perpetual calendar. Oh. Now the 5320G, the perpetual calendar, has been released before in a cream dial, I believe in 2017. But now we get salmon, okay? It's a little bit cleaner, it's a little bit more youthful than perhaps the 5270P, but putting that all aside, it's white gold. So it's a little bit more price approachable than, than the platinum that you'd find with the 5270P. Now, stepping back, the 5172G, by compacts chronograph, beautifully finished traditional chronograph movement, but of course, modern tech, modern power reserve, great chamfers, the Protect Philippe standard of finishing is just absolutely stunning. Oh man, I wish I had a larger bank account. Now I'm gonna toss a question back at you. Sure, We picked please. duos. Okay. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Of the two, which one are you? Ooh. If you could, which one of the two do you want? Good question. I'm gonna have to go perpetual calendar. I mean, it is Patek, the complication. It, yes, you gotta go that but way. But I, I will say, I'm typically not a buy compacts guy. I, mm. I like try compacts. Mm -hmm. That being said, it's still a very beautiful watch. Um, but if I had to pick between the two, I would take the perpetual calendar. If I was authored either, either I'm taking either. So, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, they're both I very fantastic blame. watches. But back at you. Pick, pick one of the two. Oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, I feel like if you're going protect, you gotta go complicated. So for me, I have to do the annual calendar travel time. I mean, there's just something about that watch. I love that youthful look that they're going for. Yeah. Um, I would wear that watch in so many different situations. It's just a really nice look, looking watch. It look good on you too. Oh man, that's Sandy. <laughs> like, I, I'm ready for that watch, as you can clearly yeah. see. As you can clearly see, he's also ready for the salmon. Yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just love that reference. I think it, they really knocked it out of the park with that one. I think we're going to go beg for some Patex. Stay tuned for coverage tomorrow. Ricardo, let's go uh, get on our knees and plead. Bye, guys.